story to tell. Not as famous as Sukhoi Su-57 or other top Russian fighters, the Jak-130 is still the name that makes NATO worry. Russian officials say the Jak-130 is a new generation subsonic training aircraft, a harmonious combination of combat techniques with training. As a trainer, it allows the training of pilots for new generation multipurpose fighters including super maneuver fighters. As a live fighter, the Jak-130 can also engage high-precision weapons on ground targets. If necessary, it can engage in aerial combat. Due to such specifications, the customers can choose how to use this aircraft. For example, in the Russian Aerospace Force, the Jak-130 is primarily used as a training aircraft while Belarus Air Force pilots are actively using the Jak-130 for training and combat readiness missions. According to Sputnik News, this is because the Jak-130 is a Martin aircraft that is as highly versatile as other advanced aircraft such as the Su-57 or MiG-35. The two-seater aircraft NATO calls Mitten is also said to be a much more reliable and cheaper option than other expensive fighter jets for reconnaissance and quick try missions. In addition, the Jak-130 has been held as a better fighter training aircraft than any aircraft currently owned by major defense technology powers, including the United States. Pilots trained with Jak-130 will easily master the 4th and 5th generation fighters worldwide. Jak-130 is a very suitable aircraft for the fight against terrorism in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. This is a small, flexible aircraft that can produce lighting punches. Besides, Jak-130 is also useful in asymmetric battles. The development of the Jak-130 began in the early 1990s. The request was to develop a new aircraft to replace the older L-29 Delphine and L-39 Armatures, which have gradually become obsolete. In 1992, the Jaglev Design Bureau collaborated with the Italian Alenia Armatry to create a training aircraft for the Russian Air Force. Yaglev provided the plane shape design, and Yarmouchi was powered to customize the equipment to offer Western countries. By 2000, this partnership has ended due to differences in priorities between the two firms. Yarmouchi created a version of itself with the designation M346, currently used by the Italian, Israeli, and Singapore Air Forces. The Russians continued the Yacht 130 project. In 2002, it won a tender from the Russian government for training aircraft. And in 2009, the aircraft was put into service with the Russian Air Force. A total of about 140 Yacht 130s were produced. The price for an aircraft is estimated at $15 million. The appearance of the Jak-130 is quite ordinary compared to a light jet, but hidden inside are the most modern technologies. The fuselage is designed with perfect aerodynamic styling. A shape nose in the front, behind it is a full glass cockpit for two pilots. The pilots are arranged to sit in tandem. The main pilot or trainee in the front, auxiliary pilot or coach in the back, the cockpit is optimized for great visibility on own size. As an advanced pilot training aircraft, the Jak-130 is equipped with the most advanced avionics systems, ensuring that it can copy the characteristics of Russian 4th and 5th generation fighters. 
for digital cockpit for channel digital fly-by-wire system and instructor control and variable fly-by-wire system handling characteristics and embedded simulation. The tab also has a head-up display and a helmet mounted sighting system with a double GPS and GLONASS receiver updating an inertial reference system for highly accurate navigation and precision targeting. The developer estimates that the plane can cover up to 80% of the entire pilot flight training program. The main wings of the Jack 130 square back, they have the wing roots extending forward of the airframe, in line with the overall design. A total of 9 hotbars are arranged to carry weapons, one on each wing tip, three under each wing, and one under the fuselage, with a capacity of up to 3 tons. The Jack 130 can carry a variety of guided and unguided weapons, auxiliary fuel tanks, and electronic parts. According to the manufacturer, the planes were tested with own airborne weapons with a weight of up to 500 kg that are in service in the Russian Air Force. The tail of the Jack 130 is designed with a single last vertical tail fin, two conventional horizontal fins mounted low above the engine exhaust. The Jack 130 uses a pair of Evgenko Progress AI-22-25 turbofan engines, producing 14.52 kN thrust each. The engines are mounted under extended wing rods. They are aspirated by a pair of the fly-by-wire system control engine intake blanking doors. In order to prevent aircraft's engines from sustaining foreign object damage when operating from unpaved runways and grass strips. Yard 130 can reach a maximum speed of Mark 0.93, equivalent to 1060 km per hour, operating drains up to 1100 km, service ceiling of 12,500 m, rate of climb of 65 m per second. The fully retractable landing system consists of two single wheel main landing gear legs and a single wheel nose landing gear leg. At present, JAR-130 is active in air force of many countries, including Russia, Algeria, Bangladesh, Belarus, Laos, and Myanmar. Syria has ordered 36 of these aircraft, but deliveries have been delayed due to the ongoing civil war in the country. In addition to its role as a training aircraft, the JAK-130 can assume a ground attack role with high combat readiness and low cost. With a minimum speed of 165 km per hour, the JAK-130 has good low flying ability, which is an important feature of the attack aircraft. Armed JAK-130 will be the optimal solution for cost, quick response in the case of needing air fire support. The weapons it carries can easily destroy amphibious vehicle, infantry, armor vehicles, helicopters, transport aircraft, and unmanned aircraft. Even with short-range air-to-air missiles, Yap-130 can fully coordinate with Big Brother to fight with enemy fighters. My video of Jaglab Jack 130 ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.